Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. <coughs> I'm feeling like I expected to feel, you know, I always do feel a little rough after my uh, infusion, and uh, I get it every eight weeks, and it's for Crohn's disease. I've had a lot of people ask what it's for, and I won't go into the, all of that, you know, again, but I, I do have Crohn's disease, and uh, this is the only thing that's ever helped me, really. It really is. And uh, so uh, it's well worth any side effects that I have afterwards, which is being really super tired, exhausted, just sore. Uh, my legs, for some reason, get sore. Uh, my stomach's been bothering me some today. Uh, it must have had something going on in there because it, it coats your intestines. And it basically kind of cleans you out, too. I mean, it, I don't know what all it does like that, but... Um, there must have been something going on in my stomach. Maybe I was in a little flare, and it um, it's taken care of it. So uh, you know, I feel a little a little rough because of that, and uh, just different things, you know. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll be fine. So um, I'm, I'm I'm really used to it. So anyway, on our prayer request, Crystal's uncle Harold Simmons is still in the ICU. Pray that he'll get better. Amy's aunt's sister is in the ICU. She almost didn't make it. The doctor's doing everything they can to save her. Pray she'll be okay. Tammy had surgery Wednesday for a total pelvic floor collapse. Pray it went well. She has to have another operation in the near future also. Beth has a respiratory and sinus infection. The doctor put her on antibiotics. Pray that they get rid of all infection. Carol had knee replacement surgery Wednesday. Everything went well. Pray for a speedy recovery. Amy's family friend has an unspoken request. Jackie Howard's uh, Jackie Howard has problems with her knee, joint effusion, fluid, and possibly blood on the knee also. Pray that it gets better. Spencer's angiogram confirmed an artery blockage. They're meeting with a cardiologist next week to see if a stent or bypass will be done. Pray all goes well. And uh, Alan is back to work and will start his treatments for brain cancer next week. You gotta admire him, he's back at work. I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's fortitude right there. Uh, pray that they heal him. Enlightened by Grace for You's family is having many problems. Pray that things get better for them. Amy's grandmother's sister's liver test came back okay. They're still doing more tests, but she'll be okay. And pray for Jamie. He's feeling discouraged and anxious. And, you know, I think that's happening with a lot of people since these pandemics started. So I hope Jamie gets better. All right, our scripture of the day comes from Matthew 7. 24 through 27 therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock the rain came down the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not push them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand the rain came down the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. And that was Jesus speaking there. Uh, you got to excuse my voice. For some reason, this happens every time, too. I don't know why it affects my uh, vocal cords or, or whatever, but it, it does every time. I'll get a drink of water. It's funny, I mean, how it affects other things. Okay, um, today's devotion is entitled Two Houses. To test the stability of two houses, engineers simulated a Category 3 hurricane by using powerful fans that produced wind gusts of 100 mile per hour for 10 minutes. The first house was built according to a non-hurricane building code, and the other was put together with a reinforced roof and floors. The first house shook and eventually collapsed but the second house survived with only a few cosmetic damages. 
One of the em engineers summarized the study by asking, which house would you rather be living in? Concluding his teaching on values of kingdom living, Jesus said, Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The fierce winds blew, but the house survived. In contrast, the person who hears and yet doesn't obey is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The fierce winds blew and the house collapsed under the intensity of the storm. Jesus presented his audience with two options. Build your lives on the solid foundation of obedience to him or on the unstable sand of your own ways. Amen. We too have to make a choice. Will we build our lives on Jesus and obedience to his words or disobedience to his instruction? By the Holy Spirit's help, we can choose to build our lives on Christ. How have you experienced what it means to have Jesus as the foundation of your life? In what areas is he inviting you into greater obedience? Jesus, help me to abide in you so that when the storms rise and the winds blow, I'll remain true to you, established forever by your grace. And Lord, I want to pray for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. That sure helps my channel. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on, a morning coffee break. I believe I'll have some friend mail so from my daughter. So check that out later. Bye, everyone, and God bless.